The song that took the longest to write on the album was Yes, I'm a Mess. We had so many different versions of that same song. We had a song called Lucky Day, a song called So What, a song called Fake It Till You Make It. Then we ended up with uh, Yes, I'm a Mess. We finally found the correct concept to feel like the cowboy whistle, to feel like you're leaving home and blowing up your life. Just took like four years of bad songs in order to get to that. Uh, we wrote this album, The Maybe Man, because we've had an interesting last few years, and uh, when anything interesting or sad or strange happens to a musician, they kind of have to write about it, so we were kind of forced to write an album. And uh, don't want to go too much into it, but uh, it's some sad stuff that happened, including our dad passing, uh, some other family stuff that happened, some weird social stuff that happened, yeah. so we had to kind of write a lot of weird songs about it. Yeah, it was very much an album about questioning who you are. I'm you with this person, but I'm you with this person, um, and I, kind of leading to what does that leave me with? Um, and so we wanted to write an album about the Maybe Man, uh, the guy that is confused about what he's going to be for the rest of his life. And our uh, single, Yes, I'm a Mess, really we wanted to explore the idea that everyone has of just like starting over, leaving your life, and starting a completely new one. It's exactly how we were feeling when we were writing this.